So Spider-Man 2018 was already an amazing game that had so many great mechanics at the time. And from what Insomniac have shown so far for Spider-Man 2, well, Spider-Man 2 is only going to be better. So today I wanted to go through seven super impressive mechanics in Spider-Man 2 that are drastically going to improve the game compared to the first one. If you are interested in Spider-Man 2 content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. There is plenty of Spider-Man content on the way, but with that being said, let's get stuck into seven impressive mechanics in Spider-Man 2. Now, the first one that definitely stands out for me is to do with the web wings, which I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of gameplay of so far, and these are going to drastically improve the traversal in this game. Now, the traversal in Spider-Man 2018 was already really good. When you think about Spider-Man compared to a lot of single-player games out there, especially like open-world games, the traversal and I guess the speed at which you can move around is absolutely mental. Even just recently playing Assassin's Creed, the traversal in that game is also really good, but it is so much slower than Spider-Man. And as I said, it was already really good in Spider-Man 2018. Well, that is about to be completely blown away in Spider-Man 2 because the web wings are going to allow us to essentially fly around the entire map and it is about to get absolutely mental. We are pretty much going to be able to get to the other side of the map in half the time that we would have otherwise. And these are definitely very impressive. Now, as for how early in the game we actually unlock the web wings, I'm not too sure. This may be something that we need to unlock through the story. I'm sure this won't be available pretty much straight away. But regardless, this is going to really really drastically improve the traversal of the game and we're going to get from mission to mission and you know hunting down side content and stuff in a matter of seconds and it is about to get absolutely mental when it comes to getting around Manhattan. Now moving on to something that is also very very impressive that I've personally only seen this in a few games before this is the character switching option that is available between Peter and Miles. Now as I'm sure you guys know both of these characters are playable in Spider-Man 2 and outside of probably a few missions where we are kind of stuck to one character we are able to switch between Peter and Miles essentially at any given point and this is going to allow for some very very nutty gameplay to where we can potentially even get into combat with both of these guys at the same time and essentially just switch between them like hitting someone with one punch then switching over from Peter to Miles and being Miles and punching the same character all in a matter of seconds it's going to be absolutely insane and like I said this is really something I've only seen in a few games before the most notable is obviously GTA 5 and to be fair that is a very old game at this point point it's over 10 years old this year so this is by no means some new crazy mechanic but to be in a game of this quality that is definitely very very mental and the speed at which we can switch between them is also very very insane if you guys have seen the clips where we actually switch between Peter and Miles so yet again another very impressive mechanic and I cannot wait to mess around with this and just see how nutty we can get with it to where like I said we are actually fighting characters with both of them at the same time now another one that is definitely going to help with traversal is the slingshot shot and I guess the super slingshot that we have seen in the gameplay. Now we see this clip of Miles pretty much using these two poles and using his webs to catapult himself into the air and then he actually uses the web wings that I've talked about earlier and you can just see the absolute speed and velocity that he's flying at here because of that slingshot and it is a way to go from zero to a hundred where we can't really do that otherwise. Obviously you need to start running, you need to start the web slinging and it usually takes like a couple of seconds to get into that full speed but with this slingshot it is going to allow us to pretty much be standing still and then all of a sudden we are absolutely flying through the air and it's going to be very very fun to find these around the map and actually just get from point a to point b pretty much as fast as you possibly can now moving on to the next one and this actually relates to both the slingshot and the web wings that i've already talked about this one is the wind tunnels now for those who haven't seen it when you are using your web wings throughout certain places in manhattan there is going to be these wind tunnels that when you actually fly through them they make you go a hell of a lot faster than you normally would whether these are stuck or whether they actually change depending on almost like in-game weather I'm not too sure but as you can see there are definitely going to be places on the map where we can just absolutely fly and like I said this is only going to add to the overall traversal and the speed at which we can get around the map and it is very impressive to see all of these things coming together even on their own each of these mechanics are obviously very good but all of these in combination are absolutely going to be insane and I do think this game is going to have by far the best traversal we've ever had in pretty much any AAA game ever. Now next up we have have one that is a little bit more to do with the stealth side of the game and this is the web lines that we see Miles putting down during one of the missions. Now in Spider-Man 2018 there were a lot of these kind of set up around the map already. It wasn't actually webs but it was just like there were beams you know around certain areas where it would kind of set it up that you know you should go up there and you're going to be able to get a takedown. It made it very obvious that these were locations that we could essentially sit up there and plan out a stealthy attack and all that kind of thing. Well now we are actually able to put these down ourselves 
And because of that, it is going to add a whole extra layer when it comes to the, I guess, stealth side of the game. We're going to be able to really navigate each situation how we want rather than leaving it up to the game to sort of dictate that. And I think that is a really impressive mechanic from the devs that they are giving us complete freedom when it comes to pretty much approaching each situation. Now, the extent of how, I guess, customizable these are going to be in terms of where we can and can't put down the web lines, that is obviously going to be something we'll have to find out once the game actually launches. But it does look very promising so far, and it is one of those things I'm very keen to see a lot of people's gameplay and just how creative people get with their takedowns and their stealth gameplay in Spider-Man 2. Now, another impressive mechanic here is actually pretty similar to the web lines, and it's in the same actual bit of gameplay. Something we can finally do now is double takedowns. We weren't able to really do that in the first game, but finally we're going to be able to pretty much get above multiple enemies at once and actually take them both out at the same time. And as you can see from some of these animations, I think this is going to get pretty impressive with the different types of takedowns we can do. The takedowns in the first game were already impressive when it comes to just taking down one enemy at the same time, but taking down two and having some of these insane animations, that is going to be very, very fun. And as I said, with the web lines, it's really going to change the way that we can approach each situation. It was often a little bit harder to do this in the first game because you obviously had to take one out. And if there were two standing next to each other, it would make that situation a little bit harder to approach. But now we're going to have even more freedom with how we approach these more stealthy situations, like I said, with the web lines. And I cannot wait to see some of the stuff that people come up with when it comes to using the web lines to get these double takedowns and potentially taking out whole groups of enemies without anyone noticing them at all. Now, last but not least, we have one that is pretty broad at the end of the day with this impressive mechanic is actually just the symbiote. Now, there are multiple things to do with the symbiote that are very impressive. There are sections throughout the trailers and stuff where we can actually see Peter using the symbiote to swing rather than actually using his webs. So that alone is very promising. The fact that we could have like a symbiote swing where it's just pretty much Peter's arms growing or it's obviously not his arms, but the symbiote itself is growing to where it is forming the web itself rather than being an actual web. There's also the other side of it where there's all these crazy brutal abilities. We see so much gameplay where Peter is just absolutely dominating his enemies. And realistically, like I said, again, it's not actually Peter necessarily doing that. The symbiote is taking over and being absolutely brutal. And there are going to be some absolutely crazy bits of gameplay when it comes to those brutal abilities from the symbiote. There's even just then the fact that a lot of people are saying Peter could even become Venom. We know that Venom is going to be in the game, but we don't know if that's going to be Eddie Brock or Harry Osborn. Venom could actually turn out to just be Peter by the end of the game. So that is in itself very, very insane. But the symbiote itself is definitely going to be one of the more impressive mechanics in this game. Everything we've seen from it so far, it looks absolutely wild. Seeing this suit pretty much morph and just be absolutely brutal towards the enemies, as well as, like I said, stuff like the symbiote swing and all that is going to be absolutely mental. And although I really do like Miles Morales as a character, I definitely think I'm going to be way more interested in playing Peter in this game simply because of the symbiote and just seeing all of the crazy stuff we can do with it. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. But that is going to do it for seven very impressive mechanics in Spider-Man 2. Like I said, they are really drastically improving on the first game, which already had so many good mechanics. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the game and see how all of these feel, especially in combination. Like I said, the web wings, the slingshots, the wind tunnels, all of these work together really, really well. And I think it is going to result in some very, very fluid gameplay. Like I said, if you are interested in Spider-Man content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. I will also be doing a setup tour at 1K subscribers. So make sure you don't miss out on that. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.